Welcome back awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today I shall be reviewing the Acid Rain Laurel Airborne. This is Marine Laurel Airborne. Again I'm in a different surroundings. I'll be staying one evening here before going back to the UK for a while and then I'll be moving to China. <gasps> yes, China. Okay, so I've only opened the packing box and I've taken it out. Let me take it out now. Let's have a look and see what this bad boy is like. From the pictures I've seen and other people's photographs, it does look particularly amazing. As with the normal boxes, we have a go feel it, so you can feel the weathering. Box seems standard. There is a skull there and a 303, which are the Marines, and a picture of the airborne laurel here. Let's slip this off. Now, this does come with a figure and with the laurel itself, and laurel is new for the marine side and that has a gun arm. The gun arm was only on the corpse laurel previously. And the other nice thing is the first time we get a laurel with a weapon for the actual pilot. So let's get this out. Okay, so first thing, the pilot is in the back here. And he looks nice, but there doesn't appear to be a helmet with him. I thought he came with a helmet. I may be wrong. I'm sure he does. Maybe it's in the actual box itself. Uh, I will get him open if you guys have a look. Getting into 118, you're going to love this stuff. So it's a lovely looking figure. Nice paint work. Got the little logo of the wings for the airborne there. See the back of the sort of armour and his little head here. Articulation is good, so his legs will go, you know, not overly far, but far enough for some Taekwondo practice, which is good. Forwards and backwards is great, as you'd expect. The ankles go quite far. Um, they also go really far, round to the sides, and also inside as well which is great for posing and balancing. They've got this awesome double knee joint, which means you can get a really, really, really tight joint on it, or bend, sorry, so it makes it very easy to get some dynamic poses. Uh, there is on the waist, but his armor will get in the way of it. Arms go high, armor does get in the way a little bit. And the on the actual arm bend, let me see how far he can get. He gets a little bit over about 90 degrees, so not too bad. Then the head's good, he's got a double neck joint, so he gets good side to side, up and down, left and right. Let's put him down. Let's look at the rest. Okay, so some parts here, and yes, okay. Here is the helmet and the gun for the uh, pilot's different bag. So, the gun we've seen before on the normal Marines, it's a nice looking gun there, his helmet has got a nice skull on the front and it does come up, so when he's wearing it with the see his eyes, let's put it on to have a quick look, just a slip over, so you can still see his eyes when the helmet's up. And the visor up right down, we've got the skull there, which is nice. Gun is nice. So a couple of parts in here, I'm not sure what they are at the moment. I'm sure they'll reveal their nature to me later on. We have got here thrusters for the front of the laurel, from what I remember from the pictures. That's nice. Then this big bad boy here. We have the helmet, the back thrusters too which look nice then we have the actual laurel itself now ah, instructions here which I missed it appears I might be missing something or have I? no, I've just missed it on the back here, okay and the back there is an actual parachute for the laurel. Now, this is a toy, don't put a parachute on and throw it in the air, expect it to land like it's a real parachute. It's not, it's just a toy. 
So what we have here are just some instructions on how to attach the parachute to the laurel. This might be a bit of a long video, sorry guys, and girls, and children, boys and girls, adults and the alike. And sorry married women for your husbands who are away watching my videos now. You can watch them too. Okay, so, quick look at our instructions. I need to grab which piece? This piece here? Yes. Now, how does that attach that? I don't know at the moment. Aha! Uh -huh. So, we have some attachments on the inside. Let's have a look. How does that fit? I am confused, as we said. Okay, so I have to take off these parts first, it looks like. Does that come off too? I don't know. Before I do that, let's have a look at the laurel. So, standard laurel. But you've got a gun arm this time, like the corpse laurel, which is a nice, really good paint job. Uh, you can open up here. If you open up this part, the engine block at the back should come out. There we go. And if you look inside, there's a little clipboard just here. You need tweezers or something to get it out, uh, which your pilots can hold, but don't lose that. And the handles do go in and out to make it easy to put the pilot in. Uh, nice laurel joints, a little bit loose in the hips perhaps, but the ankles are very tight and so are the knees. I do like this a lot. I've always been a fan of the Ori Toy laurels. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause this video while I work out how to attach the chute. Uh, aha, now I know what these things are for, these round things. Once I've done that, I will come back and we can continue. So, I'll be back in a moment. Don't go away, okay? Okay, so I figured out how to do it. It's I've done it very messily, so I did it very, very fast. So forgive me for that. Uh, these shoulder parts here are actually inside when it comes. Obviously, this won't fit on top with the shoulder parts inside, so you need to fold them out. Uh, front part slides on this part. We'll just flip over the top, he says, like thus. That will swing down to here. That is now one. You have those parts I was looking at earlier. These round little parts here. They are just pins that will keep the head part and the thruster part together. Now, getting them into exactly the right place is not the easiest of things, but with a bit of patience, it can be done. So, there's one. And I should be able to get number two here. Okay, so they are in. Okay, so now he's got his parachute on, he's got his um, rear thrusters, and then he also has his front thrusters, which just fell in there. The two slits grooves go in the front, and they will match up with the handles there, and just slide on like so. So now we have our airborne laurel all kitted up. He says that fell off. Let's put it on a bit tighter. Okay. Okay, better. Very nice. Now, another nice feature which I've noticed is on the front thrusters, they can move forwards and backwards, up and down to change the direction of thrust. And look at the back thrusters, they're the same thing, but they have it side to side to change the direction of thrust again. This is a really, really nice looking figure. Uh, nice looking mech. Very, very well done by Oritoy. Once again, great paint app, great uh, weathering, though there is one section on mine that appears to be just a bit of rub and no paint on, but it's a lovely figure. Nothing to worth noticing, uh, worth mentioning, sorry, is on the actual gun arm, the ammunition clip did on the previous one, the rush lower, there we go, come out and the bullets are painted inside. Then you can just put it back on again. So there's all these little features which make acid rain stuff, you know, the, some of the best stuff in 118. You can even get the gun clip taken off with weapons, sorry, with bullets inside. Double elbow joints. Look how tight his elbows go on the laurel there. He also has a double knee cap joint despite having such little stumpy legs. So he can get a very tight angle on his knees. 
and there is also this part here at the bottom which will just slide down so if you want you can get the stand up in a tripod position instead like that which makes some of the posing easier this is a great looking mech a great addition to the laurel uh, sorry to the 303 marines nice looking i love that part in the front it looks so menacing it is just fantastic and it looks really good these bulky parts attached for the actual uh, landing so it's not a flying mech these would obviously uh, what's the word looking for um, now I can't get on properly these would negate some of the force from falling and I now can't put it back on it's not very good to me um, and the uh, thrust on the back would negate force and then the parachute would help it fall slowly it's not a parachute only mech you know he's got the thrusters there for a reason partly to guide the fall part and also partly mainly I guess to uh, stop it from falling so fast you want to put a huge parachute on your mech lovely looking uh, toy well made again by Ori Toy well designed by Kit Lau the acid rain world fantastic toy um, if you do get a chance pick one up they are nice again it's quite easy to take the things off you do have to take off the circular parts on the side to take the backpack off or the thrusting part okay once that done it'll come off nice and easily and you got your standard max the idea being fall into combat lose the chute and maybe the front part and he's ready to go into the battle with his heavy heavy machine gun this is awesome action towards signing out saying please like share and subscribe i'll be back soon with more awesome action toy videos okay stay happy and keep collecting bye bye